Okay, so apparently something uh, went wrong somewhere. Okay, this is supposed to be the Scotch Bonnet Jamaican Red, and it's definitely not a Scotch Bonnet Jamaican Red. It's one a pepper that looks like that. That's not a Scotch Bonnet shape. That. Right there is. That's the shape of a Scotch bonnet. Okay, so obviously something went wrong here. I looked through my inventory, I looked through my videos, I looked what I did, and I never did a review on the Red Devil's Tongue, which is one of the peppers that I did buy. And somewhere along the line, it the, the tag must have fell out, and I put it back, and it might, probably was put back in the wrong spot but somewhere along the line i don't have any scotch bonnet jamaican red pepper so the scotch bonnet jamaican red pepper is missing it looks like this is more than likely a red devil's tongue which is probably what that is but i don't know for sure I have no positive positive positively way of knowing what that is so unfortunately when you're doing uh seed saving and you're you're creating your own seed bank you can't take those kind of chances, and I have to restart this whole uh, Scotch Bonnet Red Devil's Tongue thing all over again from the beginning. So I figure I would make a video on me going right from seed right to, uh, you know, harvest. And hopefully I can get something by the end of the year. These I don't believe these are usually the kind of plant that takes forever to sprout. So, And if worse comes to worse, I'm bringing them in for the winter. And you'll get to see the progress through the winter as my plants mature indoors. Okay, so I'm going to make these separate videos. And um, the this this will be included in the first video, which I guess I'll make. Uh, we'll concentrate on the devil's tongue. All right, so let's show you the seeds. Okay, if that can focus. I don't know if it's focusing because I don't have my glasses. We're going to dump a bunch in there. That's all you need. I don't need. That's even way too many, because if these all sprout, I'm. You know me. I don't. I don't get rid of them. So um, yeah, I tend to move the camera off, and the reason why I do that is because the thing is in my way. Uh, the the lens, the screen that I watch when I'm doing through the camera is in my way, so I can't see what I'm doing. So I'm really sorry about that. I don't mean to do that. Um, but I might as well take you along for the ride. Yeah, just go like that, you know. I really don't like pulling out plants that start nice, you know. And that's all I do. I just, you just want to get them covered with dirt. And then once I water them, they will, um, they will, um, uh, they'll sprout. And, you know, we'll pull out what we don't need and replant them or something like that. But anyway, that is the, um. Devil's Red Tongue, this is a, a, a going to be a start from the beginning, from right where I start with the seeds. Today is July 20th. It's approximately 7.30 in the morning, and it's 2016. Okay, so you can watch the progress of this plant grow, and you can get an idea of how it's going to grow for you. And also keep in mind, too, that we're in the uh, mid to 80s to the mid 90s, 100 degrees every day, so... Take that into consideration as far as uh, the plant coming up either quicker or slower. Um, so just take that. If you're starting them indoors, you're going to want to use a heat mat and things like that. So, All right, so uh, that's the uh, Devil's Red Tongue. Okay, so here's uh, the Devil's Tongue page that I have set up. Here's the seeds. It's from um, pepperlovers.com. You can see I still have plenty of seeds left, even though I just planted them in the thing. There's about what you get left. You can see there's a lot of debris in there. 
Uh, that's just the way it comes, uh, you know. They don't really clean up the seeds very well. But if they sprout, that's all I care about, you know. Uh, anyway, I paid um, two bucks for the seeds. Not bad at all. Pepperlovers.com. You can see the date right there. That's when I bought them. And this is about all the details I got on it. So you can read that. I'll put it in the description below. And uh, the Scoville units are what you see. 125,000. So these are pretty hot. This is probably something I'd be a little... I don't know. I'd be a little... Cons I don't know if I'd do this on camera. I might try a couple off camera first to see if I can even do it. And then if I could... Because I could do a habanero on camera, but these, I don't know. I, um, it's a capsaicin chancy, and so uh, that's it. I'll just, uh, I'll just get this video out there to you. So I'll link all the uh, these videos back and forth where the mistakes are. I, I really don't want to pull the videos down and reshoot them. Um, so hopefully that's not a problem. If it if it does become a problem. Then I will have to reshoot the video and just do it all over again. So, but uh, okay, that's the Devil's Tongue Red Pepper, PepperLovers.com.